great. Good afternoon. Good this afternoon. is Deb Allen with the Deb New York, York Times, Times, and I am and sitting I am here sitting with my here solving buddy, buddy Sam Zersky. Good to be back. Good to be back. Uh, but yeah. more important yeah. than yeah. us, we have yeah. a very yeah. special yeah. guest today. Uh, we are so, uh, we are so thrilled, thrilled to welcome, to welcome Janet, Janet Varney, Varney. Uh, actress, uh, actress, writer, producer, writer, comedian, comedian, and and, and so and, on. And so on. Uh, uh, we, uh, you might know her as the voice of Cora from The Last Airbender Legend of Cora, and as the and host, host of the, of the JV, JV Club, Club podcast, podcast. And, as and as well as, as, one, as, of as well as one of the uh, stars, stars of the uh, Voyage, uh, to, the Voyage to the Stars podcast. Is that right? Is that right? Yes, 100% correct. Well, welcome, well, welcome, Janet. Janet. We are so you're thrilled so that, thrilled that, you're, that here. you're here. And, and I'm, I'm even, even more thrilled, thrilled to find out that you're a solver. Oh, yeah. I I really, really enjoy the puzzle. In fact, I... This is like getting right into some deep stuff right away, but I find it so calming uh, yeah. that that now when I get, if I'm getting anxious about something, um, it, it could be anything from like, you know, the, the water isn't working in our house or <laughs> like I just got some bad news about a family member. Oh. My, my, my sweetie, my fiance Brandon will say, um, do you need to do a puzzle? Yeah, yeah. that's, yeah, I'll that's, tell you. Yeah. And I'll be like, it's, yes, I do need to do a puzzle. It's better than Xanax. Yeah, it really is. It is. Those little <laughs> black really and white is. squares, man. <laughs> Um, you know what? That's a very, very common thing. I hear a lot about um, uh, people who do it in times of uh, great anxiety. In fact, uh, our solver story this month, uh, which is one of the features we put out, is about a young woman who uh, learned to help control her panic attacks by doing crosswords. So, and that's so, and resonated that's with a lot of people, lot of people and it actually and it is actually very soothing, is very soothing to, to, as, as Will as, Shorts as Will would say, I think he said, said this, is to make, this is to make, make order, order out, of order out of chaos. Yes. yes. Right? When you're right? feeling you're chaos feeling, around yeah, absolutely. Around uh, so, uh, absolutely. So, so, right. So, right. anyway, so anyway uh, how uh, long have you been solving? Oh, sorry. What was that's that? Okay. <laughs> I, 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 I think no, I, I wanted to. I wanted to figure out. I think we're. Ha- I heard there was a little bit of echo. There's a rumor going around. There was a little echo. Yes. So I was and, try and, to do I could. thank help. you, commenters. And the, and the, get rid of that. Yes, right. the evil yes. genius uh, Gary Demini is uh, is on it. Is on he's on trying it. to fix, the, trying echo. fix um, the echo. Um, but in the meantime, excellent. Big solver. Yeah. Well, I told you my dog Jade is is actually the brains behind wordplay, so it makes perfect sense to me. Oh. Wonderful. Hats off. Extra spunky border terrier herself. Yes, she is still extra spunky. So anyway, um, I thought that we could get into the puzzle because a lot of people are um, starting to comment. Um, This is a puzzle by Grant Thackeray. And what puzzle is this for the New York Times? This is Puzzle for the Times. It is his second Thursday offering. It is his second Thursday offering. And yeah, he's back. He's got a lot of cool stuff on the screen. It's going to be a fun one. It's going to be a fun one. Uh, if anyone is wondering why I'm touching my ear, we are using, uh, this is our first Skype session with Janet. Janet's in Los Angeles, and thank you for joining us again so early in the I morning. I may have lost you guys. I don't know if you can hear me. I okay. hear some vague clicking. Okay. But I'm here. We can hear you. Can hear you. Okay. Oh, we're here, ourselves. too. Back. Okay, cool. great. Cool. There may be there may be a bit of a lag. So uh, what we what I was saying was, um, we ha- Grant I think is an actor. Right? Oh really? He's a young oh, really? man who, who acts and he should probably is, know this. Should probably know this. Yeah, but he also in his spare time, haha, uh, likes to make uh, crossword puzzles. So this is number five for the New York Times, and I think you'll really like this one. Uh, I'm not going to spoil it. We we tend to keep the uh, themes for uh, the end of the puzzle. Uh, anyway, uh, anyway, what we, what we try to do try is to we uh, try, uh, try to, uh, to uh, find uh, a, way a way into the puzzle, into the puzzle. because for because a lot of people who solve, solve and may not, may be, not Thursday be Thursday solvers, solvers yet, yet uh, uh, we, we uh, try to encourage them to find, find a, a uh, an in, an, an easy, uh, an easy in, which is usually the fill in the blank clues. But, but uh, uh, it, doesn't it doesn't have, have to be. To be. Um, um, right. So, so uh, uh, what, what uh, have, you, have solved you solved this puzzle, puzzle yet, Janet? Janet? I I did. Was that cheating? 
No, no, no. The, no the, half, half the commenters do this too. Yes, yeah. Hello, commenters. They're all they're all ringers. And to be perfectly honest, I've already solved it too because you know I had a deadline. My my column went live last night when the puzzle goes live. So yes, I've already solved it too. And to be to be even, even more, more honest, honest, I don't solve any of these puzzles because, because I'm helping I'm editing, editing it and accept the puzzle. puzzle. So, so uh, it's all an it's act, all act here. here. <laughs> so when you start a crossword puzzle, Janet, where do you like to start? I mean, I, t I typically do just start with the with number one across or down. Um, wow. Every once in a while, you know, something will will pop out that I'm not even looking for um, in a different clue. I, I will give the example that you know, anytime I see Audrey Tattoo's name, I get excited because, oh, yeah. like, uh, like so many of us, I love Amelie and. Just oh, there you go. There's your say, nine, nine across. Nine across. Nine that's the one. That's the one. Right. Yeah. Give me. I immediately. That was like I immediately saw it, and I immediately was like, "Well, I got to yes. start with Amelie. Come on, everybody!" I I loved that too, and and it's, and it's been, been twenty years, and this woman is woman still, still being tagged, tagged for Amelie. For Amelie but but uh, it was uh, a great, great movie. movie. I, I, I enjoyed, enjoyed it a lot. lot. So once so you have something in there, in there do, you, do you how do you what do you how do you proceed? Do you skip around, or do you try to build off what you have? I build off what I have. Yeah, I, I, I think I, I usually, if I get in a cross, then I'll just start kind of systematically dropping down uh, with the downs that are, okay. that, that, you know, drop down from that word. So what do you think, what do you think this one is? 10 down, posting at many a park entrance. Uh, well, I'm, I have a guess. Um, I don't think it's a mop. No. Uh, <laughs> you never, I don't never think know. it's a gaping, like a gaping maw. Mall, that would right, be very right. scary. Uh, although there is a, a little bear statue at the entrance to Griffith Park, which is right uh, kind of near my neighborhood. So, okay. um, spoiler alert for anybody who's talking. Uh, <laughs> not a thing. Not a thing. Yeah. Thing. No, you, didn't, you guys uh, didn't, hear you them. didn't hear them. Yeah. yeah. I think probably an app. Absolutely. Would be certainly the most helpful. The most the most Cromulent. Cromulent. Yes. Yes. yes, yes, absolutely. Exactly. We, we have uh, something here called Cromulent Bingo, and our solvers wait for us to use that word at least once during the It's so, it's so, two, two answers, answers today. Today. It really, so that was so it. I think that's a new record yeah. yeah. for Sam. Yeah. Uh, that's great. So, yes, we've got map. How about, how's your Verdi? You know Verdi? Uh, I would say poor, other than that, uh, there's some version of this that usually shows up in a crossword puzzle, exactly. I, and it's one of many things I have learned by virtue of doing the New York Times crossword puzzle. I know more about Oreos than I ever cared to know, by the way. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's 29% uh, yeah. cream. cream. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I'm always excited to see what new tidbit is going to be like. Somebody, you guys are doing a great job of trying to keep it fresh. Absolutely. That's the goal. Oh, awesome. 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 Whenever, yeah. whenever yeah. Will and Joel, Will and, Joel and, Sam and Sam see Oreo come, come up in the puzzle, puzzle. like we're we're like, we're like, like from, yeah. from Pleasantville. Yeah. We have to come <laughs> up with something <laughs> different yeah. if the clue's already, already not good enough. Not good enough. Yeah. But yeah. so anyway, how about this one? Birdie's blank two. Uh, so I, so I, I assumed that it was either um, E-R-I or E-R-E, and right, then I right. figured out it was E-R-I. Yes. Right, yes. Airy, 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 two. airy two shows up a lot. A lot. It really yes. does. That's just one you catch on to. Yes, crossword ease. We'll get yes. that. Yeah, yes. we'll get yes. that. We'll get that. We'll get that. That's, that's another one. one. <laughs> There's also There's Debbie. What a good twenty-seven across. Right below that. This is another one. No matter what day of the week it is, it's not even a fill in the blank. But you know what I find interesting is your brain fills in the blank information anyway. Actor reads. What yeah. You, well, uh, Keanu has lots of beautiful vowels in his name. So oh, yeah. yeah. We, yeah, we constructors, yeah constructors love, love him. him. Uh, what, uh, else what, else we, uh, what else have we got here? There's also, you, also, want you want to go jump around to six, six down? down? Six down. Uh, yeah. uh, Shapiro. Shapiro. Uh, uh, NPR. NPR. I mean, that's just I mean, another that's one. one. That's another one. There are only so many ways to clue. That's got to be Ari Shapiro. Yeah. Okay, great. Yep, so we've be. gotten started. started. And, and uh, I think that's a nice entrance into the puzzle, especially, especially for Thursday. Thursday. I'm going to check on, on some of the comments, comments here. here. We've, we've got, got um, Liz, Plowman Liz Plowman agrees with Ari. We've also we've got, got MC Dennis is back with us, agreeing with Keanu. Archibald and Oshano, one of our Italian solvers who joins us every week, is pointing out that Ari too means you was. It was you. Oh, okay. So you learned something. Today I learned. There we go. There we go. 
Uh, oh, it? that was Jacuz. It was yes, you. Yes, yes, it was you. It was you. Exactly. I did I lots did of lots research. research. Nicole Xavier says bingo for yes, colonial yes, bingo. Yes, we got bingo. Yeah. bingo. That's, that's, that's back with us. Right. Well, Indeed. those answers Indeed. are very interesting Indeed. questions. What do we got here? Uh, yeah. uh, he says, how can a Japanese plum start with an L? There's no L in Japanese. And that is a very good question. That is a 12 down. So I was a little confused by this, too. I don't know if you were, Janet. Um, I always think of yeah, this as a Chinese, as a Chinese fruit. fruit. Yeah, I did not think I, the Japanese uh, part was was confusing because yeah. I know I know I know that fruit as being. I thought that it was Chinese, but then I thought, yeah. oh, maybe yeah. it's just in in Asia, or maybe it's more. Apparently, you know, uh, it was brought, to, brought Japan. to Japan. I, I, I have to do a lot of really of weird research for the column. So, so uh, apparently, uh, it was brought, it was brought, to, was brought Japan to Japan from China. China. And, it, and it's very, it's very I, guess, I guess, Japanese, Japanese topography, topography is, good is good for growing, for growing it. So, so, yeah. yeah. So, we... So we um, um, <laughs> We, 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 I'm we, sorry. The, 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 the cursor is yes. uh, taken over. Right. No. No. So, uh, but well, the answer so is no clock, which, which is a yeah. Japanese, uh, I'm sorry, a Chinese, I'm sorry, a Chinese, Chinese word, word, but it but was loaned was to, uh, uh, actually it wasn't actually loaned. Was I mean, the, the, the fruit is still fruit Chinese, Chinese, but it, they, it, it is very popular in Japan. So here's another one. Oh, sorry. Go ahead, Janet. Oh, I was just going to say that um, I get excited when I see it because there was a band in San Francisco for many years that my uh, friend Anthony was the guitarist for called Loquat. Oh, and it got, you know, it actually was on a label and was sort of a beloved San Francisco band and, and had uh, some notoriety outside of the city. So I was excited uh, to see Loquat on there for that reason. That's cool That's because, cool, I mean, because we, I talk mean, about we talk just about just emotional connections, connections that you as the sovereign, sovereign can, have can have in puzzles in, puzzles in, any, in any, any way, and that's just an uninterrupted. We certainly, we certainly couldn't have planned, planned that, that, but that, that just that gives you just, you, it, just it, the most exactly. yeah. memorable feel from solving. So there you go. There you go. Hey, Liz Plowman is joining us again today. She says sits down is Ira. You know what? I think you might be thinking of Ira Glass. Glass. Uh, uh, also, with also with NPR, NPR today, it's, today actually it's actually the reverse. The reverse. It's, you had all the letters, right? right? That's you right. Had that's a, yeah, you yeah. had yeah. all the right all letters, letters, just not in the right order. order. But that's one but thing that's we talk about here is that it's okay to make mistakes in crossword puzzles. puzzles. It's also it's totally, also okay, totally to okay to have, okay to have different, different wheelhouses. Wheel Everybody's got their own personal solving background. I just like to highlight 2604 is back with us and highlight 21 across. And this is a gimme for her. It's Mitch Album. Album. Exactly. Who wrote Tuesdays, who wrote Tuesdays, with, Tuesdays with Mori? And that's one and that's that I one personally, that I personally as, a as a solver would say, would say I would need, I would at, least need at least half the letters, letters in order to get. Okay. So, okay. So, whoops. Well, whoops. Yeah, okay. Whoops. We, we, you know, we you know. make fun of Sam a lot uh, for his age, <laughs> but that's okay. Uh, let's see. We've got guesses, We've got guesses for, guesses parody, for parody, parody at 17 across. And this one I like a lot. Right below. Right below. Now, I, I have, I beg to differ. Oh, okay. I had a feeling you'd say something. First of all, Spinal Tap is one of my favorite movies. But I used to be married to someone who owned a recording studio in New York City, and uh, it is scary how close Spinal Tap was to the truth. <laughs> Nigel <laughs> Tough now in his Nigel, hair. All yeah. of them, yes. And and uh, but yes, if you say it's a parody, it's a parody. I have Spinal Tap songs on my on my in my Apple Music. Oh, me too. So I yeah, love, it's I good. Give me some money. I actually um, saw them live. They're an oh, amazing wow. band. Okay. Live. So there you go. So, and we actually did at uh, at uh, at SF Sketchfest, which is the comedy festival that I okay. co-founded with my partners Cole Stratton and David Owen. We met as uh, students at SF State. We just had a couple of years ago uh, a tribute to Spinal Tap, and oh. we had the three guys uh, in San Francisco and got to meet them and celebrate them. And um, it was one of those like pinch me moments where oh, we were yeah. like, oh my gosh, comedy heroes, comedy heroes. Yeah. Absolutely. I, yeah, I think I'd, I'd be a little, a little wobbly, wobbly too if I met them. Uh, okay, so we've got some more. What, some more. what are we I was going to say, do we just want to take a peek at 19 across? 19. Oh, that was an accidental pun. Yeah, uh, <laughs> at the theme, yeah. Yeah. Um, Fury at her husband leaving his entire estate to his mistress. Now, this is That's obviously, it, it's a very wacky clue. It feels very stretchy, but when you get it, it will make a lot more sense. Uh, it's one of those clues that sounds like it's trying really, really hard, but there's a good reason behind it. There's a good reason. It may or may not be part of the theme 
of this puzzle, exactly. which there, which exists every Monday through Thursday. In so. fact, there are five theme entries to this one. So let's let's take some. Uh, yeah, let's got take more guesses. It's, yeah. it's, it's, like I said, you had all the letters. Douglas there. Smith says, "Watch out for eighteen across." That's where I made my mistake. Oh. Away from a crow's nest. Well, a oh. crow's nest is at the top of a pirate ship, or at least I like to imagine it's a pirate ship. And that away, if you're pointing at somebody, it would be over thar. Over thar, yes. Thar she blows. Thar she yeah, blows. Thar she blows. It's not talked like a pirate day yet, but what the heck? We can ce celebrate anytime we want. You know what? Checking our crossings here, Deb, yeah. we might be able to look at two down now. Um, okay. The asthmatics need. Asthmatics oh, yeah, see, aid. Two out of the seven letters in certainly helps, I've got, right? I've got one of these in every handbag, in my car. Along with the Ricola? Along with the Ricola, yes. I have more things <laughs> for my Ricola. Uh, an asthmatics aid is an inhaler. Boom. That's, that's not so bad. Just like that, know, we're crushing this thing. For a Thursday, that's that right. really is pretty straightforward. It's not that bad. But I will tell you that the pun, the Sorry, the theme is uh, is definitely a Thursday theme. Yes. So mm -hmm. we're working. There's on some it. crazy stuff in the fill too. Not a professor says, "Ha ha, I just got the theme." See, well, you I don't even have to be a professor to understand I this don't puzzle. Think so, <laughs> so. <laughs> but uh, E D W David says fourteen down. All the way over on the right. Ah, there we go. That looks is friendly. Assessed lasciviously. Oh my God! What okay. are you guys doing up there? Uh, is uh, eyed up. This one I did not know. I've not heard that term. I didn't know no. you could eye someone up. No, so this was new no. to me. I, I mean, at some point, you know, you're usually you're, you're usually encouraging people to lift their eyes up, but. Uh, how about I mean, this is my this is my response. You got me. You got me. <laughs> you got me. And that is the uh, I, I, don't I don't know. That's 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 the best response but I can muster up. Another gimme, which I don't know if it's a gimme for some people, it was a gimme for me. It's a fill in the blank Sturm und Drang. That's mm -hmm. a storm and something. Drang. And right? you can I, spoonerize I that to get um Durmstrang, which was one of the uh, neighboring neighboring schools in Harry Potter during the Triwizard Tournament. Okay. Yeah. Oh, That's where nice. that comes from. Right. Yeah. Digging yeah, deep nice. there. Kyle Danner says hi. Hello, Kyle. Hi, Kyle. Lots Everybody's agreeing on inhale. Oh, we all need okay. inhalers. Deb, we yes. have to go to 32 and 33 across consecutively. Oh, yeah, this is great. this is Will and Joel at their finest right yes. here. Oh, uh, yeah. This is a great. This is great. This is what we call a near twin clue. Uh, twin clues. Oh, I didn't know we called. I didn't know that was a technical. A near yeah. twin clue. Okay, I believe it. I believe it. I, because I named it that in my column. Okay. Uh, organization <laughs> that might pocket your checks. And notice that the org is abbreviated. That means that the answer has to be abbreviated. That might pocket your checks. We've got that R in the middle. So what what do you think it is, Janet? Uh, well, I, I just incidentally, I happened to solve the other, the near twin first. And I, I kind of thought the pun worked be better. Yeah, I solved, I went, because that one we see a lot, right? I mean, we yes. see both of them a lot on the crossword, but I, I, like, yeah. I like going from check your pockets to pocket your checks. I think that's a funnier pun to get yes. to. So rather let's go than backwards pockets, then. Right? Hey, hey, so we got, it. so we, yeah. So we know that uh, the TSA uh, like to, to uh, do a lot of things to uh, <laughs> create an environment of security. Pockets. Yeah. Pockets among pocket other checking things. certainly among those. Yeah. And how about pocket pocketing your checks? And then we have our dear friends at the IRS. Yeah, exactly. uh, dear, no dear needed. friends. No okay. audits needed. We no. love you guys. We love you guys. Love, love. Here, uh -huh. Please take our money. Please pocket our checks. Um, That's right. That's right. Between the IRS and the TSA, uh, you, you can't really say that the New York Times crossword does not have an attitude. You know, especially the way they're clued. <laughs> so correct. Um, really we, we try we try to be uh, non-biased, but a uh, longtime staple of Thursday night TV. Again, we have an abbreviation here, so the uh, answer has to be an abbreviation. What have you got, Janet? Uh, I have uh, well, now I didn't know it to be on a Thursday, so this is one of those ones that yeah. pops up in the New York Times, and um, I 
but I, but because it ends with an I, I said, well, it's most likely CSI. But that was my first. I did not that's, know that it was the Thursday show. So I learned. But that's that. just taking yeah, that's, that's, educated that's, guesses in the Thursday crossroads. Right. So and that's you how you do what? it. Your, your uh, logic was was perfect, and that's how we sometimes figure out these things. And then, and now you know. If you want to watch, and now I know. Tune in Thursday nights. Here's uh, a here's a word for you. Okay. Uh, three down. Yeah. I don't I don't know if I use this word in my everyday vocabulary. So there, it checks out oh, the mealiest that. apple of yeah. the bunch, right? right. Least yeah. crisp. So yeah, because you can sometimes talk about whoops. Meals on wheels. Yeah. Um, you can sometimes really yes. Sorry, I'm typing. It's okay. One typing hand. one hand so is not fun. I can hold the uh, AirPod in my three ears, but <laughs> never hold an AirPod. So um, let's see. Uh, okay, so Melius is, and we're getting we're getting somewhere. Look at this. What an in group uses for fishing. In group. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're not gonna we're not gonna give it away just yet. We're we're gonna work around the theme for a little while, and then we're going to bring it out some more. Jumping around so, some more. You want? I'm gonna highlight a, a guest from Honey Six Hundred Four. Okay. Um, Esau, which shows up all the time. In the new uh, 28 down, crossing Keanu at the E. There you go. Keanu, I'd like to see Keanu play your son. Grandson of <laughs> Abraham. The hairy twin. Yes, exactly. Played by Keanu Reeves. Exactly. Excellent. And look at this, we've got a K here. So the K is, K is sort of an unusual letter. That, that makes it somewhat easier to solve because, truthfully, uh, there aren't that many words or phrases that start with a K. So reason to wear a brace. Klondike. Kangaroo fits. I like Klondike a little better, but <laughs> kangaroo is good better. too. Um, I might, uh, if I ate enough Klondike bars, I might need to wear a brace. Um, <laughs> how about how about knee pain? Wow, like that, that one came that one came quickly. I, it actually did when I was solving. I don't know why. Maybe I need one. That means we uh, did all right with the clue, and then we can finish off thirty-one across too. There you go, um, Janet. Oops, there we go. Pull a cork from. What would you what would you call that? I mean, that's a bit of a gimme because we've got every other letter. So I guess we would say yeah. that okay. we would unstop it. Unstop it. But I liked the down. You. I liked where thirty one down went from there. I liked uh, this the is, clues. This is a cool one. Down. Yes. Yeah. One on a one. Now this is tricky. Uh, on a one is a, you have to think about that a little bit. On a one means a one dollar bill, a single. And the one on a one is the, we're really talking about the Latin name. And that's really the, the trick to becoming a good solver. You know, you can know all about French film. You can know all about who wrote, you know, Tuesdays with Maury. That's general nope. knowledge. And you either, well, <laughs> yeah, now I'm really, maybe, maybe when you're older. Yeah. But the, um, the, the thing is that being a good solver is really not about what you know. It's about understanding what the clue is asking you. And it's great because it really teaches you to think laterally. And I think it's very, I think it really um, opens up a, a lot of room for creative thinking. So the one on a one is going to be the Latin word for one, and that would be unum. So yeah, that, that was a nice uh, transition from unstop. Uh, what the, what the we can check. Say? Let's go to 42 across here. I saw some guesses for this mm -hmm. one earlier, but um, one using foul language with a blank MP crossing it right at the end there. 42 yeah. across. Oh, there we go. This was fun. Uh, well, we have that question mark clue there, and the question mark always means that there's some wordplay afoot, uh, that we shouldn't read the clue the way it uh, is actually meant to be, that there's a surface meaning and then there's the real meaning. Uh, so if you're using foul language, you're cussing, but with the question so mark imp, there, right? yes, That's an it? Imp, an imp cuss, yes. Uh, I'm sure Tyr Tyrion cussed a bunch. Tyrion did cuss, cuss. Oh, you can bring up Game of Thrones anytime you want for me. Um, one using foul language is somebody who also, you can also think about it as somebody who uh, talks about fouls, and that would be an hunk. Uses fair language, too. And yes. Fair language, yes. And fair, that's language. not really a thing. Um, now, I have a question for you, Sam. Uh -oh. I know you didn't edit this puzzle, but there, there are no... Uh, indicators for abbreviation in this. Uh, in this oh. Code. Why is it ump and not umpire? Because oh. I think ump is in the language enough 
just in its three letter form that it's not necessarily some shortened truncation. Not like IRS or TSA. Yeah, that one, you, honestly, even on maybe a Saturday, we might get by yeah. without clearing, I, I, without, clearing IRS without indicating that it's an abbreviation. But this, we, we just thought yeah. it got by. If you said one using foul language informally, that just kind of, that's fine. just an extra yeah, word. Absolutely. Oh. And, and it's definitely a Thursday clue, yeah. don't you think? We like our Thursday yeah, trickery. We, we do like our trickery. How about, how about crossing it right at the U there, Deb? 36 uh, down. Okay. Th does this hit home? <laughs> yes. Um, look, Mike, what are, you, what are you trying to say, Sam? <laughs> uh, words after you can't fire me. What is it, Janet? Well, this so this is uh, this was one of the ones that you know was one of the early cues that I somehow happened Ooh. upon, um, and wow. so that really what like once you get that I quit, once you get that Q and I quit, um, yeah. and you see the U E and the U, you go all right. Well, there's really only one word that I can think of that exactly. we use in the Ooh. English language, which isn't really an English word, but um, so then you kind of go all right. Well, now we're really getting into the theme, right? Because we see yes. that we have two long, two long answers, both of which have uh, cues in them starting to fill in, and then a potential with 25 if you're looking right. at the yeah. beginning of that word and, and get, you're starting to think about a cue, which is unusual, right. yeah. So I think, um, I think we're about ready to start talking a little bit about the theme. So anyway, we've got Q over here, which with all these lovely vowels, and we've got peak up here, Fury had a husband leaving his entire state to his mistress. Now, so we've got this woman whose husband has died and he's left his entire state estate to his mistress and she's pissed, <laughs> understandably so. So, she's uh, yeah, she's peaked. Mm -hmm. and, and who um, is this she? This she would have to be, I think. Now you can, you will definitely and probably as I did need more of the letters, but the answer is widow's peak. Hilarity ensues. Hilarity ensues. <laughs> there you go. See, that's yeah. That's it's right. Really suffer. And widow's peak is interesting because the peak in this case is a homophone for the word peak, P E A K, which is that pointy uh, bit of hair some people have, a widow's peak. Um, so what we have here is a homophone theme, and those are very interesting. It's substituting <clears throat> the K K sound for a Q K sound. And so we've got widow's peak, the hair, but we've got widow's peak as the woman who's really, really mad at her husband, uh, who fortunately for him has died. So um, we've got nine down. Let's finish that one. Stained glass window locale. I did not realize there were stained glass windows in this part of a church. But and here's another bit of uh, crosswordies that you see in the puzzle a lot. What what is it, Janet? Uh, we have ourselves an app, and that's yes. again we the one. We do that have I ourselves. Always an appreciate app. a new a new piece of information about apps is because it does appear a lot. So right. there's a lot of information that I've slowly been building in my brain about uh, what constitutes an app. You never know when you're going to have to talk about apps in the real world. Exactly. You know? That's right. Is it, is it app sign or apps? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, uh, next clue. Anyway, um, uh, Woodlands has the next one. We're going to fill that As does Liz too. Plowman. And, yes, I'm sure we're Many others earlier. People. Yeah. We, we, <laughs> but um, so I'm supposed to be in line over there. Yeah. We figured, so Q. Q is a British ism for line. And it is a homophone of Q, C, U, E. C, U, E. So that, uh, that uh, word that perhaps you have said once in a while, Janet, the uh, answer is that, and please forgive me for my slow typing today, my Q. We've got all day. This is that's, fun. That's fine. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm holding on to this AirPod for dear life. Uh, <laughs> that's my Q. Uh, Again, Q -E. we know your la you commenters are just busting up laughing exactly. right now. Okay. Uh, it is a homophone for that's my Q, Q U E U E, and, which is the answer to some, or the equivalent to somebody saying, Oh, I'm supposed to be in, in the line. Yeah, the that's, that's my cue. Gotcha. Exactly. Now, that being said, I don't know if some of my fellow solvers felt this way, but I actually, even though I saw the word cue and I had, I knew that was a big part of it, it took me a second to figure out that it was, that's my cue. 
solely because I'm so used to that's my cue being like exclamation mark, whereas you guys <laughs> twisted it into a question, I actually did have to go, oh, that's my cue, question mark. Okay. Like I sort of had to manipulate the, the way I normally think of that phrase. So it actually took that's me- a little confusing. It's there mainly because it's a theme answer and it's a yeah. little stretchy. So it gets the question mark. Uh, yeah, but you're right. I had but I accidentally inserted it in. Yep. Mm -hmm. yeah. but that's okay. You see, you see where I went so wrong. It's okay. It's okay. We still love you. And the point is that you eventually got there, and you, you succeeded. And not only that, but you soldiered on, which is what we admire <laughs> about you. Can I just take a? I just wanted to quickly shout out Ross Trudeau, who says, "Great haircut, Sam. Chef's kiss." Even though I haven't gotten a haircut in the past <laughs> month. But uh, I'm shouting out Ross Trudeau because he's a regular contributor. He, to he actually has next Monday, this upcoming Monday's crossword. Oh. Collaboration with another debut constructor. So right. look forward to more uh, of Ross's work. A woman named Amanda Rathman. Amanda I'm yes. very excited to see her. By the way, Ross Trudeau is the one who tweeted at you and asked you if you want to make a, a crossword puzzle. So don't be scared. He's a very <laughs> nice person. He's not a stalker. Uh, but we do have a lot of uh, constructors who help people learn how to uh, learn the skill set for making a crossword puzzle. Uh, if you are, and this is generally a shout out uh, for everybody, if you are on Facebook uh, and you join the crossword, the crossword, crossword puzzle collaboration directory, crossword puzzle collaboration directory, uh, it is a place you can go to ask questions. And uh, you can also um, find somebody who is a veteran constructor uh, to mentor you. And I highly recommend that because I think, you know, it's such an odd skill set and there are so yeah. many little rules yeah. and stuff. It's really nice to have somebody who is published to, to do that. Anyway, I just wrote it down. I didn't know about it, and I'm very excited because I'm going to weasel my way into crossword construction too. Yeah, Let's go! Right? This is the beginning. This is only the beginning. That's Excellent. Right. Seriously, this yes. is this is music <laughs> to our ears. <laughs> I was very, I was very envious. The of the New York Times. <laughs> yeah, I was very yeah. envious when I saw Neil. Neil Patrick Harris is a dear friend of mine, and when I saw oh. that he had done one, I was like, Oh, Neil. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I remember that puzzle, and I streamed that live uh, when it came out because it was a Thursday puzzle, and it was absolutely phenomenal. Um, okay. I, I really suggest that you can go back into the archives. I think it was 2017. That seems. It was right. in July or August. I want to yeah. say. Yeah. One of the summer uh, of summer of 2017. There is a phenomenal moment and at the very end a magic trick is performed and if that's not enough to get you solving it very fitting for a neil patrick harris puzzle. it really yeah. was and he did that with david steinberg and i have to tell you when i streamed that and i showed people the magic trick people flipped so when you when <laughs> okay. you see neil please tell him that we love that puzzle and everybody loved it too so i will Yes. Yeah. Um, who, who else? Uh, I was going to I was going to jump to 25 across now that we're starting wow. to grok yes. the, the idea behind this theme. What an in-group uses for fishing. What's another word for an in-group? That may or may not have a Q in it. Oh. D-L-I. Yeah. <laughs> Anybody in the comments? Anybody yeah, I'm waiting. I'm sure we have a lag. In the meantime, yeah. we can jump to 22 down, okay. which oh, is, is bonus features on some DVDs are indeed outtakes. I love those. Okay. O U T T A K E. Yes, there you go. Indeed. That's a, that's a lot of real estate. That can really help us uh, spread out a little bit. How about this? It's an interesting one. Five down with the W and the M next to it. How am it's I doing? A, yeah, right. <laughs> the theme, yes, with a clue about Ed Koch. Also before so, me. Oh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Please save me. All right. It's A, and in parens, it says, I've changed. So we want to phrase. Oh, look, it could go right. It's a cow, huh? Look, it's moon. It's still moon. Um, <laughs> Budlums has it. Nicole Xavier it? 111 has it. EDW David has it. That is Shout new me. 
Oh, it's a new movie. Curiously, we've oh, never movie. clued that answer, but we've had that answer appear in other crosswords before. Really? And we've never clued it with a fill in the blank like that. But I think this is like a new fresh angle. Well, you know what I like about the Thursdays is that even though it's tricky, they uh, there is always a way in. There yeah. are a couple of really straightforward answers, things you can do. So people, you know, because honestly, I don't know about you, Janet, but uh, there is nothing more intimidating than looking at a blank crossword. Oh, for yeah. sure. Yeah, where where do you get started? But if there are a couple that goes of on the constructing end of things too, by the way. I, There's sure nothing more intimidating than just getting started. Okay, where do I put my my theme entry? Yeah. Um, but the thing is that there are there will always be, um, and this is one reason we have puzzle editors. There will always be a a couple of simple answers to get you into the grid, and um, I is really no better boost of confidence than to be able to write a couple of answers in the grid. All right, moving on, look at this Moving one. along, yeah, now we're starting to crack okay. into this okay. one. So I'm gonna call out my, my guy Fry Muncher right click. here. It says it's clickbait. Yeah, yeah. look at that. Yeah. Try, well, try not I, to crack a smile. So that's <laughs> Very good, thank you, Janet. Now, let me you. ask you, is this, is, are these people who use like my column for fishing? Do they like wad it up and, and put it on the end of their line or? Yeah. No, but this is click bait. The in-group uses it for fishing. And I think that's very clever. Yes. I really do. Now what in the world is four down? This looks that's just absolutely bonkers. Uh, Ruth Bader, no, Quinsburg. Quinsburg. Yeah. Some Labor Day That's right. formally. I've never heard it written out this way. I'm not going to lie. I actually balked at that, too, when we okay. got this one. <laughs> yeah, it felt slightly sneaky. It felt maybe slightly like a yeah. stretching, but... It's not cromulent, but it's... It's 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 it's, it's passable. I think it was in Wiktionary. Okay. I've only seen that spelling... I've only seen that spelling on the bag of the Utz potato chips. Barbecue. It's like barbecue. Maybe, well, maybe, it's more of, maybe it's more of a sales thing. Okay, here we have a flashback to the SATs. Um... Alitalia is to Italy as blank is to Poland. Yeah, no idea. Do, I did. Yeah, totally I, just solved the other one. I, I, <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, at, I'm at the airport a lot, so I see I see this uh, a lot, but I'm I'm gonna go easy. Check our crossers. Check our crossers. Indeed. An extremity is a limb. And, and do yep. Okay, this was an in, I the fill here is not a great piece of fill. The answer is. 1A or Onia. Um, it's not what I would call a Shakia Onia. But I like the clue. The clue is a really nice bit of trivia. Did you know that, Janet? Did you know that? I did. I did because it's been honestly. in the puzzle before, for sure. A, a yes. R O N has definitely been the puzzle before. But I've never okay. seen it clued this way for the answer 1A. I thought that was really clever. Got it, got it. So we've got the Northwest done. Let's see if we can move on. What are the, what are we the- We had some guesses earlier for eight down. You want to go to that clue? Sure. Without betraying nice. emotion. I saw okay. guesses stoically was so close, but there's a oh, letter course. in between so the O and the I, right. but it's going to be, um, it's going to be solidly with a T between the S and the O. Oh, Sorry. Okay, solidly. Yeah. That's one you don't see too often. But it's no, nice I am willing to bet that, yep, that is the first time in Will Shorts' 25-year tenure that that has appeared in the New York Times. Is Crossroads. that right? Yep. Wow. So, there you okay, go. Today so you learned. Today I learned. Word with suit or blanket. So other people have been shouting this out. Uh, the answer is wet, wet suit or right. wet blanket. Uh, How about, do you buy seven down? Do I buy seven Well, down? I definitely I'm buy butter. <laughs> the... Oh, butter in a dieter's ice. No, I, I really don't. <laughs> but, you know, I know that people traditionally think of it uh, this way. Uh, do, what did you have for that, Janet? Uh, I felt the same way I think you guys felt, which is that in today's world, it, at any given time, there's a diet that said it, that will say it's good fat. There's a diet that will say it's bad fat, which is kind of what you were saying, Deb, the more traditional sense of a diet would be that, that butter would be a bad fat. Right. A little butter never killed anybody in my eyes. I mean, but if if you're going to, uh, you know, look at it traditionally, it is a bad fat, which is interesting because we had good fat yesterday. Was it yesterday? Yeah, we had good fats, and, yes, and that was pure coincidence. Exactly. Like, that was unintentional. So I guess yes. this, is, this is not as healthy a puzzle. 
Uh, no, but I mean, it's not going to stop me from eating butter or doing right. crumbs. Yeah, that's damn right. So. Okay, so uh, 26 down. This was interesting. I had giant at first, but I wasn't sure uh, if that was right. TSA probably confirmed that because they share the same third letter. Exactly. Um, let's see. Let's check our crossers. Flight board abbreviation. And again, we're, we've even abbreviated abbreviation. So the answer has to be an abbreviation. Uh, what have you got, Janet? Uh, one of our favorites, ETA or ETD, we already know it's a D, so we can right. assume it's an ETD. Right. Just throw that right in. And that means that Grendel is a beast. He is. Yes. Uh, what else have we got? Uh, first of all, Alpine Joy is talking about that they solved this puzzle in a personal Thursday best. Congratulations. Excellent. You go. Yay. Yay. There you go. Um, and yes, this is the first time Stolidly has appeared in a World Shorts tenure. And yep. also the first time that Bad Fat has ever appeared in the New York Times. Project. Okay. So today you learned. <laughs> uh, in the meantime, what is that? What are one's eyelids? Ah, this today? was a hard one for me. For some me reason, too. I was having a, I was having a oh, hard time you know, we're about until... Yeah until uh, I got 41 across. The dog with an upturned tail happens in this puzzle to be an Akita. Kurosawa. Uh, sorry. <laughs> but to flutter one's eyelids, say, is to stir. If you flutter your eyelids, you're waking up and stirring. From the editorial side, we, we love tacking on the say at the end say. of these yeah. it's just It's just a way to it's, cover your tracks. Exactly. <laughs> right. Right. Uh, what what else? Where'd you go from there, Janet? Do you uh, uh, have anything else? Well, I, when I see when I see a blank just staring me in the face uh, that that is working this way towards the the west, I would probably go to forty six because forty six across there and start filling in that corner. Yeah. Ah, image on the back of a Canadian nickel. Now, I thought. It was going to be a loony, mm -hmm. but it I obviously is not. Yeah, wait, that's you and I was Canadian. like, wait, isn't that a dollar? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So you hear Canadian, and we've been trained to think loony, but it's actually a nickel, and the image on the back is the beaver. Now today I learned we can use the B in the beginning of forty six across to check forty six down. Ah. Oh, God. All right. Well, this is the part where Sam sings. No, no, I'm not actually going to sing. Yes, you are. We might Refrain like from this. Mulan before with all the force of a great typhoon. Now, I really, I can appreciate this uh, clue a little more than other clues that might have been used in the past. The entry happens yeah. to be be a man. The, only, we, we, are, we only plan to. A, thank you. Be a man. And uh, I actually have never seen Mulan, so I didn't know this. I had to look it up, but the video of the song is on today's column if you're interested in hearing it. It's actually a very nice song. It's it's interesting. Mysterious says <laughs> There you go. <laughs> and there he's there it legit, is. He's got a legit voice. So it's right it's right in the range. Right. Uh short staff with a question mark. Huh. 47 down is kind of tough. Yes it is. Uh, we've got Beto. Modern, City once modern. represented in Congress by Beto O'Rourke. That's Policy Junkie's back with us. It is El Paso. That's right. Somebody named Policy Junkie, I would expect to get that. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so that's great. We are almost three quarters of the way done with this. Let's keep it going. Look at this 38 down. Eat. It's not Bob and so no, no, I mean, don't. But to eat is to have something, which is nice. And short staff. Oh, uh, I get it now. Yeah, I get it. Yep. Uh, we got a question mark because short staff sounds like a short stick or to be short staffed, maybe like in a yep. place of service. But uh, elves happen to be Santa's staff and they are short, for lack of a better word, or small. So the clue short staffed is for elves. This one I liked and I happen to know because a friend of mine uh, calls her. <laughs> Calls her husband this. Uh, <laughs> the silverback <laughs> is uh, silverback oh, EG, God. and again, EG clues are uh, are asking people uh, to find a category that the word silverback might be a part of. And silverbacks, we have the A and the P. Uh, take us home, Janet. What is it? Uh, well, gorilla won't fit. I don't think. 
So let's go a little broader and say ape. Okay. And, and that's exactly what it would be. App, Oops, right? why am I not they in there? come up with an app oh, called there we go. Silverback. Uh, true. <laughs> that's true. No, okay. <laughs> no, it couldn't be. It couldn't be. And oh my God, I yeah, hope not. Tinder, there's there's Tinder, there's Tinder, it's Silverback. A silverback. Or yes, it's a dating app for people for mm -hmm. monkeys. Uh, quick. Not monkeys, Deb. Not monkeys. Oh, I'm sorry. Ooh. Oh, forget that. Apes. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Uh, prevents. You can put the S in there at the end. Actually, I can because it's a it's a plural. So hopefully the uh, it ends in an S, just like the book. Uh, that's a lot. That's another thing that helps people with solving is to know that one of the rules is that tenses have to match. If there's a plural in the clue, there's a plural in the answer. Abbreviation in the clue, abbreviation in the answer, and foreign language in the clue, foreign language in the answer. So that's another thing that really will help get your solving better if you understand those clues. You want to try 68 across at the very bottom? I would love to try 68 across. Okay, forget about it. All right, let me let me just yeah, let me but just stop you right here. here. <laughs> I grew up in the Bronx, and I do not know this term. I've, I I've definitely never said didn't this. know it. No. Um, sure forget Will about it. it. Yeah. Who? I said I'm sure Will knows it. Will grew up in Indiana. I mean, <laughs> how does he know that? Forget about it uh, like is answer. the clue, and the answer is no soap. Which for some yeah. reason, I, all right. <laughs> um, but that helps me. I, I think I know this one now. To prevents is averts. Uh, whoopsie. Hold on, why is this? Um, Hold on, it's not, it's not, the letters are not, oh, there we go. You got it. Yeah. Um, and quick, at 65 across, now I'm starting to see ah. Thursday-ish meaning. Of Ooh. Quick. What is it? Sharp. Quick. Ah. Do you think it's astute? It is astute. astute. And that'll there really go. help us with 60 down. Oh, absolutely. Status. Tell us, Jenna. Whoa, absolutely. Uh oh, there's our cue. That, that, yes. that is our cue. Tony Winner. Now, this is somebody who has not been around for a while but she is a very famous actress and a very famous acting teacher. So it's she's somebody that people really should know. She does show up in the crossword a lot, a lot. and her name is Uta Hagen. Now, do we, do we want to go to 59 across? Let's, we let's could. Let's thing wide open. All right. Smudge mm -hmm. on a theater sign. I thought this was hilarious. Yeah. This, okay. was, this was extremely great. So it was, it's, it's really good. It really is. Uh, a theater sign with the M-A-R-Q-U has to be marquee, right. right? We don't know what the rest of it is yet. We know it has to do with a smudge. But let's see. Maybe we can have Walt Disney's older brother. Let's do some of the crossings. Well, MC Dennis actually knows that it's Roy. Oh, That's awesome. To, today right. I learned. Yeah, he was the businessman, by the way. He, was, okay. he, he yeah. was the one who made the company a very big success. I was also going to say with 59 across, since we know that the puzzle is based around homophones, we yes. know that Marky, this is the Q word. So is there another spelling of Marky that is used in a common? Well, I, you know what? I know the actor Mark Wahlberg used to be known <laughs> in his more musical days as Marky Mark. And uh, look, at, look at that. Look at that. Mark. <laughs> That smudge is a mark. So we've got instead of Marky Mark, M-A-R-K-Y Mark, we've got M-A-R-Q-U-E-E -E Mark, which is a smudge on a theater sign. Um, that that's, sign. that's a lot. That yeah, is very good. satisfying, and so, especially with all those cues in here. Well, very thought-provoking. this angle for, for, for um, this answer. Yeah, I do too, because it could be, it could be clued very boringly, but this is, you know, this is deep. It really is deep. Okay, let's put that okay. in. Uh, where should we go now, Janet? Uh, let's see. Well, again, I you know when you have that across just staring at you with a D, I probably would ah. have yeah you know, just pop over there see if we can knock that so out. Awesome. It. Okay, so uh, do you, have you ever read Matilda? Yes, and I saw it on Broadway. So uh, I, I, I yeah, I know that Roald Dahl. Uh, wrote it, even though that's a name that many of us don't know entirely how to pronounce. 
first and last right. name. <laughs> we, we do our best. It makes it just as hard to clear role because you basically just have to say author. Exactly. Yeah. Now, I'm going to I'm going to let you in on a little secret, Janet. Um, there is nothing more a certain group of solvers hates than this word here at 54 down. I don't know why. I, I've convinced oh, them that it's not going away anytime it is, soon. It is not, I, yeah. I, we must have dozens more puzzles. With oh, Sansa God. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll just put on my flak jacket Very then. Um, the answer to modern sweetie, what do you, do you ever call your sweetie this? I don't, but it's uh, it's definitely very well known to me. Uh, which okay. Garrett's uh, losing it. Right? Bay. bay, yes, uh, short bay. for short for uh, baby or babe. It's it's bay, and that's that's perfectly cromulent. I yes. Think. Oh, absolutely. Double very bingo. Much okay. We were allowed to spell it. It would be absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Who boy? Who boy? Uh, it really is one. Let's come back to that. What else are people? Mah <laughs> um, oh, Butlam says 54 across the last oh, minute. Oh, okay. We Do we have anybody this? else uh, popping in today? Craig Berman is here. Fry Muncher is here. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so uh, some alcohol smug smuggled into a rodeo, say. Wow. Okay. I'm not sure you have to smuggle it in, but that, that's okay. <laughs> um, that's obviously with a uh, question mark and a long answer. It's got to be a theme here, clue. Here. Cowboy thing, Boot. right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, not sure. Not really sure that. But look at this. We have another K. Let's see if we can solve that. Count for a Facebook post. Okay. So what do we what do we look at to see whether our posts are successful or not? Got to look for this, and that means something. Uh, give give it a big thumbs up, and that would be likes. Certainly, we're just not counting. We're, we're not counting these on our Facebook. Posts. Not at all. Never I never. I don't all. obsess over that at all. Okay. <laughs> Sunburn aid. Here's one, another one that appears all the uh, time. You this always. Is so, this is so hard to clear. In me. LA, I'm sure you always have your aloe plant nearby, don't you? I absolutely do. I can stare. I can look and see it out my window right now. Actually. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> do you ever actually no. use it? Yeah, I mean, honestly, less for sunburns than just like me being very clumsy in the kitchen and like touching a pan I forgot was hot. So I I hear you on that. Okay, that's that's terrific. Okay, well, it's good to know. With regard to um, Janet Varney uses this in her kitchen. Right. <laughs> uh, well, isn't that fancy? Uh, well, I think we've got a no. I think we've got uh, ooh la la. See, I was spelled with an H. Uh, yeah. I do too, but, but not today. Not today. And, can't fit it into the crossword that way. Yes. Uh, and here's here's an interesting thing. And this is one of the things I love about you guys on the editorial team. Uh, you can take the worst fill and find a way to clue it very cleverly. <laughs> because here yeah. we've got noir, which is not a word. It's but a genre of film. No, that's N O I R, noir. Uh, but N O I, which is really not a word, but if you parse it as no I, that's, yeah, team, there's no I in team. That's a very, very famous saying. It's no one in Roman numerals. Exactly. <laughs> we have not taken that route. And don't Thank God. It, so. Okay. Who boy looks like it's going to be man, oh man. And what else? Pepsi Dad disagrees. Okay. Also agrees with no I. Right. Marco Balanoshano is commenting on aloe plants, saying they're very useful. Somebody with a long string of letters yeah, for their for name F. is says 54 is boot. Oh, you're yeah. right. Boot. You're very good. Sure. So and you, hide it in your boots. you do hide it. And then with the L-I, I'm thinking it's got to be boot liquor. Yeah, we need. Oh, yeah, because yeah. we have to get the Q in there. Gotta right. That and that's that is a homophone for liquor, L-I-C-K-E-R, boot liquor, somebody who who uh, coddle, you know, cuddles up to somebody. And I think that's a very clever so one. I'm trying to put you on the spot. Don't. Now that we have that Q. See 50, what happens. 52 now. Right. <laughs> 52 yeah, right. F. Okay. Oh, my God. Okay. Just All right. reaction I want to make. Just Full disclosure, I had to ask Sam about this. That's not easy. Um, I very rarely, I, yeah, I very rarely have to do that. And before I asked him, I 
sort of had the answer, but I didn't understand it. So I went uh, on an hour long deep dive down a rabbit oh, no. hole into research on calculus and trigonometry, uh, which is oh, not my favorite goodness. subject, but this is what I do for a living. So I, I bear with it. The answer happens to be square. Cat is actually, it's a trig ratio. It's like sin and cos. And right, pan. but it's not the opposite of a square. Okay. Well, here, okay. So I don't know what Shorts is thinking. No. <laughs> but the cat's opposite at first. I was thinking, well, it's going to be a dog, right? But it's that's not even the opposite of a cat. I don't know what an opposite of a of a uh, a domesticated cat would be. But uh, it turns out that a cat is another name for a cool person, like a groovy cat. And the opposite of that would be someone who is a square. Yeah, I know. Like your hepcat. Yeah, yeah, I know. She's yep. shaking her head. It's okay. That's okay. We, 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 we allow. felt the same way. So I was, oh, we can get that one. Sure, that's Ed an easy up. one. I yeah. just wrote about him. Did you? Yeah, and you're in the listicle for you. I remember that. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I, I added some of the Sam, pieces Sam uh, writes. Uh, for wordplay, some very good topical. Listen, if there's anything that is not in your wheelhouse, uh, every quarter we come out with a new one. Like the latest one was uh, famous actor names that uh, come up in the puzzle quite a lot. If you don't know who Ace Morales is, for example, you can find <laughs> him in that list, and now you will know. Yeah. So I always who say. Is I always say, I am so tired of hearing about all the awards Alan Alda has won. I get it. He's won a billion <laughs> awards. That's absolutely So cool. demeaning to those of uh, us who haven't won 5,000. Right, exactly. But, you know, he actually is a lovely person. And we once tweeted uh, to him that he had been in the puzzle as either Alan or Alda. Like 300 Alda, times. 300 yeah. times. I'm I mean, sure. Yeah, it's really easy for constructors to throw that in there. Yeah. Uh, okay, so this has got to be Ed Asner, A-S-N-E-R. And we have guesses from Policy Junkie for 67 across, starting okay. with an R, is Reef, Crossing Square. Six, I'm sorry, 67. The other 67 across. Reef, and to check our crosser with that F there at 64 down, Air hug uh, between. Oh, okay, Janet. Oh, I'm not saying the answer. Okay. I don't do that. Air yeah. Between LAX and SeaTac. It's it's is. very familiar to me. The truth is, is that if you're a Bay Arean, you know that um, it's much easier to fly into Oakland because it's a smaller airport and it isn't <laughs> fogged in as much. Oops. Ooh. Okay. SFO. Memo to SFO. SFO. Very frequently to shorts. canceled right. or delayed flight. Okay. Okay. That's well, actually a good we didn't say anything cooling about angle with the tip. fog. We're sorry, yeah. San Francisco Airport. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. The, yeah, but that's absolutely fine. Uh, happy motoring sloganeer once. This goes back away. Yeah, this just shows up all the flip all the time. Times. Crossroad. Yeah. It's no longer in the United States, but I actually saw a couple of SO stations in Italy. I was oh, really? in Italy over the summer and they that's still very big over there. So I just know through crossroads. Okay. All Put right. a tiger in your tank. Gas okay. brand that sounds like it's last two letters. You know, right. The list exactly. goes on. So you can only do so much. What else have we got there? We have oh. a guest for As Is from Liz Plowman and, at six, MC, and MC Dennis at 63 okay. across. So let's see. Second half hey. sales stipulation. We love our alliteration. As Is, which I, I know that well. I'm a big thrift store person, so I, I see that all the time. I am you place some, oh boy, place some canopic jars there. Canopic stopped me for a second. Did it stop you, Janet? Oh yeah, I, I, I listen, if I didn't know that uh, this is another word that shows up a lot in the crossword, I probably wouldn't have figured, I mean, I had to work backwards, like, oh, okay, canopic yeah. must be something to do with an urn. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so to in earn somebody is to place them hopefully after death uh, in a uh, in an urn or a canopic jar. Then today we've learned. Uh, we're almost done. We've looked at this. We've got one entry left. 
Uh, I just want to say to anybody who is watching and listening in, uh, if it's okay with you, Janet, uh, once we are done, we're going to close the puzzle, go over the theme very briefly. Would you be open to doing a QA, and a a very quick one? Sure, sure. Okay, wonderful. Thank you. All right, so we've got some triage pros. Enuresis. <laughs> Diuresis. No. Okay, so let's see. Maybe we can get this one. This one looks like it's got to be. Oh yeah, flowers named after the Greek physician of the gods. That's got to be. Today, amazing. today you learned. Yes. I did. Oh, I did not know that that was. Yeah. yeah. Tuck that one away. Uh, World of uh, Warcraft EG for short. That's oh, we can get this one. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, well, I know this. I know this uh, from playing Mist and from my kids. Oh, nice. That's thank you. Uh, you know, I, I was a gamer back in the day. Uh, RPG. And look at you guys. You All right. What a good for, for Good for you guys. And thank you uh, so much for helping us, Janet. Uh, oh, now, my God. I just, I just want to go through this very quickly. It's a homophone theme. Uh, we've got Widow's Peak for P, instead of P-E-A-K, we've got P-I-Q-U-E. Instead of click C L I C K, we've got click C L I Q U E. Uh, that's my Q. Instead of C U E, we've got bootlicker instead of L I C K E R. And the best R -R one. Mark, Let's be yep, honest. Saved it for last. Well uh, done, Grant Thackeray. Clever, clever construction. Mark. That is a terrific puzzle. And thank you, Grant Thackeray, for making that for us. I hope everybody I enjoyed it. That's only his fifth puzzle ever for the New York Times. Oh, yeah. No. You have that burst onto the scene. really cool. That's super impressive, Grant. Can I, can awesome. I we'll pass impress, it along. Can I impress you even more? Uh, I'm writing up the Friday puzzle, which goes live tonight. And the uh, constructor is uh, 15 years old. Yep. In and tandem with his 19 year old sister. Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> that's okay. Well, when he when so he angry. made his debut, oh, that's super I cool. know. Well, I mean, when he made his debut, he was thirteen. This is actually his third puzzle for the Times. Wow. This one is with his sister, who is nineteen, and, and at Harvard, right? Because you knew that. And um, this is a very smart family. So you're going to do a puzzle tonight or tomorrow, uh, written by teenagers. That is incredible. Yeah, yeah, it's great. It's so plus, nice plus one from person. Sam. Yes, and one from Sam. Yay, teen constructor. Exactly. Because uh, Sam debuted when he was a teen, teenager, too. Ooh. I did not. <laughs> I, I debuted when I was an adult. But anyway, what we'd love to do is open this up now. Does anyone have any questions for Janet and uh, around solving or around her career or around her shows? How much do you love Janet? Right? We love Janet. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we still got people uh, figuring out that uh, some of the guesses were Gur, yeah. Etati voices. Yeah, yeah, that was quick. Lab, so we're still, people are still <laughs> solving, but we're going to get it. Not a professor. This is good right. theme, love, and abundance of cues. So do we. Right. So yeah. do uh, we. Adam Jones, 1995, says, Janet, have you ever tried your hand at constructing? I never have. I never have, Adam. I really want to, and I found it to be very intimidating because I don't even know the first thing about how one begins. So uh, that's why I wrote down on my phone, I typed in, I guess I should say, uh, the, the information about the Facebook um, team because yep. I definitely awesome. would love to be on that side of it. And Ross Trudeau will be showing it up at your door any second. So uh, <laughs> I'm waiting. Not to worry. I'm waiting, <laughs> Ross. Uh, let's see. Uh, E.T. Hadi Boy says, I just want to say thank you, Janet, for emailing back when I was in school for an assignment. Oh, that's yours. So oh, sweet. my pleasure. Yeah. Um, uh, have you considered being on the Dork Forest to talk about crossword puzzles? Uh, I would love to. I love Jackie Cation. Um, I feel like if I haven't done her podcast, it's only because uh, we have made the plan to do that for so many times that like, and it just hasn't worked out for some reason, but I think I've actually done Dork Forest, um, maybe a live show version of that. But yeah, I would happily, happily go on uh, and talk about being a crossword nerd. All right, so yeah. Dork Forest, if you're out there, Janet's ready. You know, just, just <laughs> exactly. schedule that in. That's great. Uh, let's see, anybody else have any questions? 
I keep uh, buffering unless my comment stream cut okay. off. Okay. Which is uh, refresh, plausible. Refresh, refresh, refresh. Um, that's about it. I think I think we're good to go. Um, thank you. We really this was a oh my god. Let's go. Thank um, you guys. So uh, again, thank you so much for showing up. I uh, enjoyed seeing your dogs in the background. Yes. And I was going to ask you if you saw the slow wandering of uh, the husky. So I'm glad I, you caught I, that. Death. I, saw a I saw a tail go by. Um, but we wanted to thank you again. You were so nice to do this with us. And I hope you had a good time. I did. Um, I, I, I'm warning you. I want to come in and do it live with you guys when I'm in New York next, uh, if it works please out. Please do. So, yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's warm. Awesome. Yeah. Have you. And that's, this way we don't have to do the split screen. We can all be on screen together. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I think Garrett just fainted. But the, uh, <laughs> uh, anyway, thank you so much. This was the Thursday uh, New York Times crossword uh, by Grant Thackeray. Uh, we have another one coming out at 10 p.m. tonight by uh, somebody who is uh, very, very young. Anne and Daniel Larson, Anne two youngsters. Yes. They make me feel It's so nice when they can play together nicely, right? Yeah, right. Uh, anyway, again, uh, is there anything uh, you would like to tell uh, the audience? Is there anything? Uh, no, want? no, I think I think you, in, in the intro, you, you uh, shouted out my podcast, The JV Club, which is available free anywhere you get your podcast. I talk to uh, famous people about their awkward teenage years, um, and then <laughs> I, I'm very excited to uh, to say that our second season of Voyage to the Stars will be launching pretty soon. Um, it is an improvised space comedy adventure podcast that I do with Felicia Day, who, by the way, was very jealous that I was doing this and probably will be doing this with you at some point soon. Uh, yeah, and did, Fulton yes, Dunn she is and coming in Bird. to do yeah. it as well. Yeah. yeah. So that's we'll great. Have to, Thank we'll have you. to get her on. Absolutely. And see, but you beat her, you know, <laughs> you were on first. So, uh, but that's great. And uh, put in a good word for us with uh, Felicia. Thank you once again. We really do. This is uh, a ton of fun. It was a ton of fun. Uh, this is Deb Amlin, Sam Mazursky, and uh, Janet Varney for the New York Times. Uh, everybody have a great Thursday afternoon and happy solving.